What is up guys, today we're making a teleporter for both players and objects, so let's get into it. So first we need a teleporter, so right click, blueprint, actor. Now how you make this teleporter look is entirely up to you, I'm just going to make mine a cylinder. Then we're going to add a capsule collision, covering the teleporter, and an arrow, which we'll use as a reference to where we want to be teleported. Now hop into your construction script. Control drag in your arrow and bring in a set relative transform. Then off the transform, promote to variable and call it teleport location and check instance editable. This construction script is run like an event tick before we play our game. This means we can change the location of our arrow and have a different teleport location for each teleporter. Now hop into the event graph, click on our capsule collision and bring in an on component begin overlap node. Bring in a set world transform node, then plug the other actor into it. Control drag in our arrow, pull off it and get world transform. Right click the transform and split pin structure. Then do the same for the set world transform and plug the location and rotation together. So when something overlaps our teleporter, we're going to send them to the location of the arrow. Now bring in a get player character node. Pull off it and bring in an equals node. Plug the equals into the other actor, then hold B and click to bring in a branch and connect these up. Pull off the player character again and bring in a character movement node and a get actor rotation node. Then bring in a get player controller node, pull off it and bring in a set control rotation node. Plug this in coming off the branches true. Plug the actor rotation into the control rotation, then off our character movement, bring in a set velocity and plug this in coming off the control rotation. So if the teleporter overlaps a player, we're gonna set the player's camera so it's facing forwards and we're going to set his velocity down to zero so he doesn't skip after being teleported. Now in our viewport we can bring in our teleporter and in the details we can change our teleport location to wherever we want to be teleported to and we're done. If you're teleporting objects make sure to check generate overlap events or it won't work for you. So guys that is it for me thank you so much for watching I hope this video helped you out I'll see you all next time.